What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today, we're talking about the Endless 90 Trinity Frames. I feel like I'm a little late to this Endless party, but you know, better late than never, right? These Endless Frames are Power Slide's first third party Trinity Frame. And if you guys recall, a few months ago now, I did a review on these next core skates. Uh, and one of the downsides to these uh, skates that I said was the fact that you couldn't really go anywhere to get third party frames. Once you got power slide skates with Trinity mount system on them, uh, the mount's great, but you couldn't get any frames for them other than power slide created frames. And that was kind of a downer for me, because not because their frames are bad, but it just kind of locked you into their ecosystem and they didn't have, you know, enough frames by themselves to really make it interesting for me. Uh, well, that's all changed now, obviously, because we're rocking some endless frames on these power slide neck skates. So these endless frames that we have in front of me today are the Endless 90 Trinity mount frames. The unique thing about the endless frames is you can either rock them with a four down, and this is a rockered four down. So basically, if you're doing, you know, wizard skating, or you just want to have that maneuverability with a bigger wheel, like a four by 90, a four by 100 they make, you can do that with a four down. But if you just want to, you know, you don't want to have two frames, but you want to have the ability to uh, have a flat, bigger, longer footprint, um, bigger wheels so you can roll faster and smoother, uh, you can do that too with the same frame. And so over here we have the three by 110 rolling on the exact same frame. That's really cool to me. You know, you're getting kind of two frames in one, really smart on Endless's part to think about that and do that. I think there's gonna be many more frames that are gonna be these hybrid, adaptable frames coming out in the future. I think we're already seeing that, even with the aggressive, the crossover world from aggressive to big wheel. Um, I have the NN Skate Dragon frames, and those are kind of a crossover frame, either a five down or you can remove that middle wheel and be a uh, H block so you can go grinding with them. Anyway, I think these frames are part of a revolution that's just gonna put skating to the next level. So these frames that I have in front of me are the bare aluminum model. They also come in a black, uh, I think believe powder coated, but they're painted black. These frames are CNC machined 6061 T6 aluminum. So it makes them really light and really rigid, just great for power transfer. Uh, the actual wheelbase in these is a I believe 276 millimeter wheelbase. So the wheels that are the frames that came on these power slide next, um, one of the downsides to them, it was a three by 110, but they were a 243 wheelbase. Usually a 243 is pretty, a pretty much a common four by 80 wheelbase, but I just really wasn't, I mean, it's really maneuverable and kind of fun, but I just really wasn't having too much fun because like, you know, with a bigger wheel, I kind of want just a, a little bit more wheelbase. So I think this 276 wheelbase on this three by 110, you can see how much more gap is in between these wheels. It's gonna be really fun. I mean, when I put three wheels on, you know, it's going for a bigger wheel with a lighter setup. Um, and I just want to have, you know, a tracking long distance cruiser uh, experience. And that's what I feel like these are gonna give you. And, and that's, this is pretty reminiscent of going towards more of a speed skate setup. So just really quick, here's the actual stock frame that came on these skates. Uh, this is that 243 wheelbase. Uh, as you can see, the wheels are very close together here. These are the same exact wheels and see how much more space they've got there. Um, this is just a very short frame for a uh, three by 110. The three by 110 frame that I like skating, um, that's like the shortest I would go on a three by 110. In my opinion, I'm a basically size eight and a half, nine shell, is the rollerblade frames I have right here. And this is a 255 uh, millimeter wheelbase. Um, these, these wheels are a bit more worn down, but as you can see, if you put these up to each other, um, there's a little bit more spacing in here. Uh, just has a little bit more, you know, stability. Uh, it's not quite so short, um, but if I put these back here, as you can see, we got lots more space on the, the 276 millimeter. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think these are gonna be really great for this size wheel, uh, tri-wheel setup. But if you come over here on the 240 or 276 millimeter wheel base, it's pretty compact. I mean, the wheels are almost touching right here. And that's it's a nice, nice wheel base. It's not too long, not too short. But the cool thing is it's gonna turn 
like a, a 243 or even shorter because these two wheels are rockered up in the front and the back. So either one of these setups I think is gonna be a great experience for both styles of skating. And the last thing I wanna to touch on these really quick is the fact that you can actually add a power slide uh, urban brake, I think is what they're called. Uh, it's an aftermarket brake for power slide skates, but you can actually add that to these frames, uh, say if you're a beginner and you know wanna feel these frames out, but, but you still wanna have that brake on your frames for a little while. I just think it's a cool addition uh, that you can do with these frames. All right, so those are the frames, but let's take a look at the wheels. I am rolling a new set of wheels. This is actually a new company that uh, was just created. It's called Icon with a Q. These are the Icon Eco 90 wheels. These are a 90 millimeter ADA wheel. The reason that they're called the Eco wheels because they're actually an eco-friendly wheel. Um, I gotta pull up my phone here to read what they are again. They're cast using a special eco-friendly urethane made of 45% cornstarch and the core is made from 20% recycled composite material. You know, that's really cool. I really hope these perform and hold up to, you know, say a, a hydrogen or, or uh, some other wheels that, you know, I, I enjoy. You know, it's just a single poor wheel and I just really hope that the industry can like start going towards that more environmentally friendly production of, of equipment. I think that's really awesome. So that's just a big reason I was really interested in jumping on these wheels, uh, a little background on the Icon company or brand. It's a brand new brand. Uh, it's from a distribution company called Disroyal and Icon is basically going to be supplying the urban skater and aggressive skater with everything from bearings, wheels, frames, complete skates, clothes. Um, it's basically right up my alley. It's the two types of skating that I thoroughly enjoy doing. So one thing to note, these Eco wheels are a pre-production model. I was lucky enough to get a set of these uh, to roll on before they're even on the market. So as you see them now, they might change the graphics and the color of the hub and stuff might change uh, when you actually see them on the market. Another cool thing about these wheels is they are gonna come in everything from 55 millimeters all the way up to 125 millimeters. So for those aggressive setups that are kind of that uh, high-low rocker frames, I think these are gonna be a cool wheel to roll on because you're gonna be able to mix and match and have the same wheel, um, mix and match wheel sizes, but have the same wheel and urethane um, under your feet. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to seeing how these guys perform. So I'm going to go ahead and put these wheels back on this frame and uh, let's get out there and start rolling.
so what do I think about these frames and wheels? Well, let's find out, starting with the pros. So for the first pro for these frames, it's just gotta be the high quality nature of them. The CNC machined with that 6061 T6 aluminum, as well as the design of them, they're just a solid, high quality, and very precise frame. So for the second pro, it's just the power transfer is through the roof on these guys. It's just like I said, that high quality uh, build material and design uh, mixed with the Trinity mount. It's, it's just like a solid piece under your foot. I loved it. Uh, the other thing I noticed is with, with landing jumps on these things, they just feel really dead and solid. Uh, there wasn't any vibration or noise or anything. It was just, you landed and it was just, boom. It, it was, it, it was perfect. It was awesome. I loved it. So for the third pro for these guys, while it's not an extreme difference, uh, these did have a few millimeter lower ride height than most of my other frames. And that goes for both the 4x90 setup and the 3x110 setup. When you can just get even a millimeter lower to the ground, it's always a good thing. So for the next pro, uh, this one's obvious, but you're basically getting two frames in one frame. When I first heard about these and before I even got on them and was able to test them, I was a little weary of, you know, trying to push too much in one, one product. I was worried that, you know, maybe the, the four by 90 setup would be amazing, but the three by 110 was kind of, you know, just an addition. It wasn't really thought of. It was just like, ah, oh, I can do that too. So I'm just gonna put it in the frame. You know, it's kind of a jack of all trade, master none kind of issue going on there. Well, I am really happy that this wasn't the case on these. Uh, the 4x90 Rockard setup was just a ton of fun uh, to go charging, like just urban landscapes, going cruising, doing wizard skating, you know, just like the, the tighter, more maneuverable, fun, playful setup. And then when you switch over to that 3x110 setup, it's that nice long frame. Uh, so you're getting, and bigger wheels, so you're getting that uh, smoother, faster, more stable roll uh, so that you can just cruise, you can fly on these things uh, and make up some serious distance. I really enjoyed that uh, 276 wheelbase in the 3x110 frame setup. I think it's probably my favorite wheelbase uh, frame length for that setup. To be honest, I almost liked it. I had more fun on the flat 3x110 at this wheelbase and frame length than I did on the 4x90s. So for the next pro, uh, it's just a good thing to know that either setup you wanna roll are both very stable under speeds. Uh, I didn't have any kind of speed wobble, especially on that um, Rockard setup, which is always, you know, kind of a worry. I, I charged down some hills and I was just locked in place. I was not doing any speed wobbling. So that's a plus. And the last pro, uh, these frames, of course, are really lightweight. And the 4x90 and 3x110 setups really are a pretty lightweight setup. You're not going to the 3x125s and you're also not going to like the 4x100s where you start adding a little bit of weight to the setup. These are both manageable weight setups and really with the light next boot on was just a great uh, experience on weight wise for either setup. All right, so that was a really good list of pros for these frames. Let's check out the cons. All right, so for the first con, I, I mentioned this before, and, and because these frames are so precise, the tolerance on them is, is like zero. Like you have to have wheels that fit these perfectly. And while it's not an issue for the 4x90s at all, you can rock any wheels on them and, and not have any rubbing issue. When I did go to set up the 3x110, um, the center wheel actually would not roll. <laughs> the two outer wheels rolling freely, but the center one wouldn't roll. And that's because the standoffs inside the frame on wheels two and three, if on for a four, a four by 90 setup, were actually rubbing on one side of the wheel. I looked this up and actually reached out to Endless and they said basically what's going on is because you're using a less expensive wheel, we'll say, they actually have a little bit of overpour on one side where they chop off. So a wheel gets poured and then they, they shave off one side of it, right? Well, there's a little bulge on one of the sides of the wheels. Um, I was using the spinner uh, 110s and that just subtle, subtle little bulge that wasn't shaved all the way perfectly off uh, to make two flat sides started rubbing on that standoff. <sighs> Man, that was really, <laughs> that was really kind of frustrating when I ran into that issue. But the way I solved it 
was really simple. I just decided to lay that wheel down on a flat surface, grabbed my palm sander, had some 120 grit sandpaper. Not sure if that's the best sandpaper to use, but it worked for me. Uh, just apply, don't even really apply pressure, turn that palm sander on and just, just ever so slightly go around that wheel. And you know, within 30 seconds to a minute, the wheels cleaned up. Doesn't even look like I did anything to the wheel. Uh, put it back in the frame, spun like the rest of the wheels. There was n no issue at all. This shouldn't be an issue with a higher quality uh, wheel because I believe there's a little bit more quality checks on a higher quality wheel. Uh, so you're not gonna have that just subtle bulge. But that's just one thing to note if you are getting into this, uh, especially if you're getting it with a skate that has those uh, 110 spinner wheels, this will be something you will be doing for those wheels. Or just think about purchasing the next skate up with maybe the undercover wheels. This shouldn't be an issue. Or uh, just think about purchasing another set of wheels uh, for this frame. So for the next con, this is a personal con. I don't really think it's a con for the frames, but that is the four by 90, 276 millimeter wheelbase. I felt it's just a little too short for my liking. I really like a an urban frame, wizard frame that I'm gonna be doing wizard moves in and doing jumps and landings and stuff. I really like that 300 millimeter range. 276 is just, just a bit too short when you're on a rockered frame. Now, when I was doing little jumps and stuff uh, on the, the flat 3x110s, no problem because all three wheels are touching. But once you raise those two outer wheels up, yes, you do still have that, that, that length, but it just starts getting a little bit too maneuverable um, and you don't have, it, it just feels very short. This might not be an issue if you have smaller feet or you just like smaller frames and you're okay with that extreme maneuverability. Uh, these would feel equivalent to more of a 243, like four by 80, I would say, or maybe even smaller in terms of maneuverability. Yeah, like I said, I just really enjoy that around 300 millimeter size. Um, and the next size up in these endless frames, the uh, 100 millimeter four by 100 endless frames, I think would be the perfect frame, at least for me. All right, so those are the frames. Let's check out what these wheels are all about, starting with the pros. So for that first pro, the obvious pro, uh, these are an eco-friendly wheel because they are made of recycled materials, which I think is a pro. I think the more products we can get that are eco-friendly without sacrificing performance or too much performance, uh, I think is a plus always in my book. The next pro for me, because these wheels are uh, marketed towards urban skating, they were very soft. Uh, so the shock absorption ability of these wheels was next level. I was, I was jumping off, you know, four or five stairs and, and, and just doing jumps here and there. And I felt nothing under my feet. Yes. A lot of that has to do with the, the, the stableness of the frame and the mount, but these wheel, the softness of these wheels and that absorption factor, whew, they just felt like, mm, just like memory foam under your feet. And the next pro, uh, these wheels have a, what's called a balanced profile. I actually really liked this profile for, again, the urban skating because they're so playful. And, and instead of being just straight round, like a lot of urban skates are to, you know, get hold that traction as you're kind of doing a lot of, of turns and jumps and using a lot, doing a lot of edge work. I liked it just a little bit, a little bit more bullet style because with these wheels being so soft, it was nice to get back a little bit of that roll and speed that almost bullet profile. So the balance profile I think works really well for these. And for the last pro, again, because they're so soft, they are mad grippy. Uh, these are probably one of the grippiest wheels I've ever rolled on. That's a pro if you're just charging streets and just bobbing, weaving in between stuff, doing jumps and, and, and holding that landing and not just skidding out kind of thing. Really great. I'll talk about the downsides of this when we look at the cons. So let's do that now. So for that first con, these wheels are soft and grippy. Like I said, that's an awesome thing for some reasons, but if you were going to try to take these more long distance for speed, or uh, you're doing more like sliding, wizardy type, you know, urban stuff, 
Uh, these aren't gonna slide super well, and the softness for speed, you do a lot more work if the wheel is soft to get up to speed and keep the speed up. It's kind of just think of a, um, a pumped up tire on your car versus a tire that's kind of deflated. Uh, that, that car's gonna come to a stop a lot faster than if the wheel is fully pumped up. So those are the cons. You just gotta understand kind of the camp that these, these wheels are in. And the last con for these wheels, asterisk this one, I guess. It's more of a worry than a con because I haven't been on these wheels long enough to know this yet, but when a wheel is softer and grippy, usually, usually, that leads to a wheel that's gonna wear out and chunk faster. I don't know this for sure with these wheels, just because, like I said, I haven't been on them that long, but just something to keep in the back of your mind when purchasing these wheels. Depending on how good the urethane is over time, uh, they might hold together well, they might not. So, there you go. So, who are these frames for? I would go ahead and say these frames are for skaters of all skill levels. They really offer so much in one frame. They offer two setups, and neither of the setups have any compromises as far as I can tell. If you want a new setup that uh, gives you the option to, to just have a little bit bigger wheel um, than say a, a flat 4x80, uh, but still without losing that maneuverability, or say you got a 3x110 setup that is like my next skates and just felt too short and you just wanted to expand those out, you got both of those in this frame. So for the wheels, I would say these wheels are for the urban skater um, that just wants a, you know, a pretty decent, playful urban wheel with great grip and great uh, vibration reduction and, and landing <laughs> softness that is also eco-conscious. So who are these frames not for? I would say these frames are for everyone. I don't really know anybody uh, that wouldn't benefit from these frames and wouldn't enjoy them. So who these wheels aren't for, the only caveat I have with these wheels is that they are soft and they are sticky. So if you're just trying to go far and fast or you're trying to do a lot of slides on them, you might want to look elsewhere. So for the final thoughts and ratings on these. So for the frames, simply put, these are a high quality, innovative design that really opens up skating in two different ways for, for many inline skaters. These are one of the best third party Trinity frames I can recommend because they have so much to offer. For me personally, these frames really brought my next core setup literally to the next level. And now I look at that setup, that next setup with these endless frames as a setup I'll be taking out a lot more often. But my only downside with these frames is that four by 90 setup is just a little, while it's not bad, it's just a little too short with the rocker to really just feel stable and confident on when I'm doing a lot of uh, wizard type movements as well as landing jumps and stuff. Yes, you can totally do it with these. They're not bad at all, but just my personal length and comfort zone. I just really like that longer frame that has that wheelbase that I can really, you know, have some leverage on, on the uh, heel and toe area. So for that, really kind of secretly looking towards maybe some hundred millimeters of these. I think for my liking and my foot size and my skating, I think those literally would be perfect for me. But if you have a shorter foot, or say you just like a shorter frame, these might be perfect for you. And so that's why I'm giving these frames a perfect rating of four wheels out of four. As for the wheels, these wheels are really a pretty good wheel all around. They have amazing grip. They really deaden a lot of vibration and landings, uh, as well as they have the eco-friendliness to boot. So for that, I'm giving these wheels a rating of 3.5 wheels out of four. All right, guys, if you have any questions about these frames or wheels, please feel free to leave the questions in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. If you guys like this video, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling.